Hey everybody and welcome to this special episode. Now look what we have here. This is a very, really unique car. Welcome to the Porsche 911-991 GT2 RS Club Sport. This is a limited edition of only 200 pieces. Our particular car has never seen the racetrack. It's brand new and my gosh, look at it. It is beautiful and brutal both on the same way. Now it has the typical Martini racing stripes and coloring on it. Um, the basic cars were delivered in white, but our particular customer, he thought it's a little bit boring and he wanted to modify it. And my personal opinion, it looks much better. Now in wrap mud black with the Martini racing stuff, it looks just gorgeous. Now the racing cars, as you know, they have to meet certain standards but also this car is a um, 200 piece production also porsche had to fulfill something for example the car has a climate control which is mandatory if you need to make if you want to make a car in higher numbers and sell it to normal customers now but the racing car as you can see it's very very low the car has um, um how can i call it let me call it air ride suspension. It's the wrong word, I know that, but you can lift the car. There is um, two points in the back and one point in the front, so you can pop it up and change the wheels and everything. But I will show you also later. Now the front, of course, you have aerodynamic wise on such a car, everything which can be done. So it's very, very low. You got these little fins on the sides and the front, which adjust the air. They look small, but they do their work. You have big intercoolers in the front, here and the middle and on the right. I will show you when I open the bonnet later where the air goes to. Now, of course, you have to have these uh, hooks so you can tow the car. It's mandatory for racing cars, you have to have it. And of course, on the front, you can see this is the model name again, GT2 RS. It looks pretty cool, I think. Now from the side, since the car is very, very light, the weight has been downgraded to 1.4 tons nearly. So, and it has been made with a lot of um, chassis stuff. That means the chassis is from aluminum and steel, but also carbon fiber. And from the side, the um, aggressive looks of the car, yeah, gets even more attention because of the big rear wing, which is really, really huge and the low car, so it looks like an arrow or some, let's say, it's a car which looks like in any moment it could go forward. So yeah, I like the looks from the side especially. Now, if you see the wheels, the wheels looks, <coughs> the wheel look a little bit strange. This is why these are, not necessarily why, this is because these wheels are transport wheels. It's called like wet or water wheels. They are just for transporting. So if you go to the racetrack, you get the car out, you, um, how can I say, lift it up with this air right, not the correct word, I know, and then you change the wheels to the racing wheels. And maybe you will notice later, here we got the central locking in blue, on the other side we got the central locking in red. This is because on this side, yeah, blue was, if you want to tighten it up, you turn it on the left. For the other side, where the red um, center wheel caps are, which are red, you turn it to the right to tighten it up. I just know this. I just don't know why. Um, as far as I heard, um, when you, while you're driving, they tighten them up even more. So everything is really, really um, fixed and not, nothing can lose during driving. Nothing can be loose. Now from the side, you can see carbon fiber accents. You have the air intake here behind the door and also in the front, here in the fender. Nice carbon fiber, perfectly matching with the mud black, my opinion. And you have here carbon fiber. Now, I get some explanation. <laughs> this is for this air ride suspension. You can drop it and pull it, so to make it up and down. Now here, is a small tank for inside for water, not regular water, um, distillated water. You can see the tank also, let me open the door. <coughs> here, inside, here's the tank for it. You can see it goes here and you can fill it up with that. And it has a special reason because on this car, 
the, how can I explain it to you? I will try my best. As you can see, first of all, here is the air intake and carbon fiber. The air goes through, it's um, closed to the wheel, so it won't get lost. It goes to all to the back, and here are the coolers. And the car has a system where this distillate water is like, how can I say, vaporized and um, put on these coolers on both sides to get more power and of course for cooling it. So it's a very, very interesting system. And uh, I've never heard of this. Maybe this is common, but it's the first time I heard of it. And it's yeah, pretty cool. And I wanted, of course, to tell you about it. Now from the back. <laughs> this is a massive wing. I mean, really, it's full of, uh, from, made from carbon fiber. It's very light, but still it's massive and huge. But you need aerodynamics in the racing. I mean, this is mandatory. You have to have it. And this is what it's for, downforce. Um, also, from the front, when the air is coming over the car, the air comes to the back and goes straight here directly to the engine. So, cooling for the engine and aerodynamic efficient. That's from the outside, but let's take a look from the inside. Ta-da! And first of all, this door is very, very, very light because it's made of carbon fiber. It doesn't weigh anything. Now, welcome to your uh, luxury uh, home inside. <laughs> well, kind of. So you got only one seat, of course. You have a racing seat, a sport bucket seat, uh, tightened with a four-point belt and uh, from Schrode, of course, everybody knows them. And uh, yeah, you'll be tightened up that, uh, there to get ready for race. Um, you got the cage, of course, an included uh, overall cage for protection. And you might have asked yourself about what is this on the roof. Uh, I also mm -hmm. asked my um, technician for it uh, because he's experienced in racing with Porsche. And this is like the emergency exit. If the car flips over uh, or lays on the side, you can just uh, kick it off from the inside and then you can escape from the car if you need to. Now, the steering wheel, you have seen it maybe in other cars. You have a small steering wheel. Um, it's also made from carbon fiber. You can remove it. Um, if I would try it right now, I think I won't be successful. So <laughs> I'm gonna save this, um, but you can do it. You can remove it, put it on again. And um, it, the car has a normal PDK, um, double clutch trans transmission. And um, on the steering, uh, you can do different things, for example. Uh, this one, if I think it was really interesting when he explained it to me. Mark, while you're driving and you feel something is wrong with the car, you just push this little button and you mark um, this situation. And later they can check on the, um, on the system when you marked what happened. Was something wrong with the steering, with the fuel pump or anything? So it's very interesting. Uh, in the same moment you feel something is wrong, click the button, it's recorded, and then later you can check, not you, but your team can check what was exactly wrong. You see a button over there with an E in the middle, there. That means that's the fire extinguishing system. The car has two buttons for fire extinguishing system. One is on the bonnet and one is here on the inside. So you'll be safe, or the car will be safe at least. Uh, the car has a climate control, as I mentioned before. It looks really, normal over here like with the indicator stuff and actually <laughs> cruise control um, i'm not sure it won't work am i no and um, <coughs> you have many functions also in the center console you can turn the traction control off you can adjust the abs um, then very interesting also the red big button over here i hope you can see it can you zoom in please here is it possible try um, this one I'm not sure. But there's a button which uh, has an R and an F on it. That means front and rear. This is for the brakes because the front and rear brake is independent. So you can adjust how much braking power you need from the front and from the rear. So you really have to be experienced uh, in this stuff. Uh, what else? You have uh, the big red one over there. Not the fire extinguishing switch, but the other one is for turning the electricity on the car on in general. That means you cannot start the car without turning this one on and then <laughs> it 
start the car with a regular key. Which is very cool and I'm going to do it later so you can hear the sound of course. What else can I tell you about it? Well, actually it's very minimalistic. You have a lot of buttons on the steering wheel, I know. You need them as a racing driver. But um, the reason there's not so much in the car, of course, is weight and distraction. You should focus on the racing. This is why there's not luxury stuff and it's a racing car. But look at this, it has electric adjustable mirrors. <laughs> nice little detail. And yeah, here you can see the original color, by the way. It's white, of course, delivered from Porsche. And 200 pieces only. Ah, one interesting fact, um, this little thing here, here, my mechanic told me, if you want to measure time lapse, uh, this one is the marker. If you go through the finishing line and again, you can uh, get your lap times. Now let me show you what is under the front bonnet. Hopefully I can do it, yep. Here you can see it's the fuel tank, but if you open it, let me see. Or if I don't, maybe not. Uh, nope. Ah, okay. <laughs> Never done before. Full carbon fiber front hood. <coughs> and you see a lot of holes in it. So here we got cooling for the, this side for the brake. Here, cooling for this side for the brake. And we have a massive uh, cooler here. So the air comes to the front. There is an intercooler behind it. Here you can see. So the air comes through and then it goes up here. So if I would close it, this is what I mentioned before. The air goes above the car and back to the engine. It's all about aerodynamics. Oh, it's very light. And here, fuel tank. This is for the brakes, front and rear, because they're separated. And here, these little things are for the um, suspension, the, the air ride. Actually, it's with uh, KW, very well known. One for this side, one for this side. And there's also the second button I mentioned before for the fire extinguishing system. And this um, little red string, if you pull it, it's a general, like, De uh, how can I say, cut off for the car. It immediately stops everything. Emergency out. And this little thing here from carbon fiber, I've been told, this is for the interior. So the air um, sucking system for the interior. And also again here, everything carbon fiber for the fuel tank. Fuel tank, by the way, is 115 liters. I'm not sure what the consumption is from the car, but I think that doesn't matter, but it should be enough. So, I hope, so far I did everything right, <laughs> explained to you this great car. Price-wise, I never mentioned prices before actually, now I do. This car is now offered for, I think, 435,000 euro, excluding VAT. It's a brand new car and um, very rare to get. So, if one of you is a racing driver and would like to have this car, just contact us. Maybe it's still available if you contact us. And uh, if you're not a racing driver, I hope you still enjoyed the video. And now the best part is coming up, the sound. <laughs>